Uh, we just hit a nice gold dolphin. You guys found a piece of plastic uh, floating. Got some mahi mahi on. So you're all wondering why we put the fish in the live well here. They shake a lot of blood. So this way, there's only a little bit of blood getting on the back of the boat here. It's not getting all over the place, all over the bow or nothing like that. So a nice way to keep them clean, you can put them right here. Then once they chill out and die, we can move them to the cooler then. But that way only one part of the boat gets dirty. So we got a mahi on here. Whoops. And Kevin is diving down, shooting some underwater pictures of it. Right now here off Alamorada, 800 feet of water. Good job, buddy. Got a few mahi to add to the box now. So we got back on that debris. Nice bull swam up here. We got him on now. See if he stays on there for us. Drilled him, baby. Got him. Yeah. Hold him up right here. Yeah, Pick him up. There. Nice bull, baby. Nice bull. On the jig. I almost ran by that little piece of plastic. I seen it when we went behind. I wasn't even going to turn around. The, yeah, I said, I you wasn't know what? Just in case there's I'm a dolphin like, on it. I was watching it. You almost ran it over, but yeah, I can say yeah. you just went just to the yeah. right left. Oh, yeah. Nice cow on there. Good job. Nice fish. Ready? Yep. One shot ready to go. Mahi, mahi. In the hole. But I'm very excited about the mahi because I love their bellies for swordfish bait. On the run from Kevin. I see Kevin trying to eat him. There's that piece of plastic right there. So Kevin's getting some underwater shots right now. The mahi. He got some swordfish ones earlier, and uh, now he get mahi. Get in here, bud. Get in there. Look at the color of that. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my phone real quick to get a picture too, all right? Nice mahi. They're not happy. Look at all those mahi in there, guys. We got mahi now. And you can see we still got blood everywhere all around. But you could imagine if we didn't put them in the live well there, all the mess would be everywhere, all over the boat. So at least we just got a small area covered up. They're all decent, Nice. Oh, yeah, we'll take them. All right, we're out here sword fishing. We got a small one earlier. We got one on now. Might be a good one, never know. Scoping up out there. Might come up jumping. Keep coming, buddy. Don't stop. Keep coming. Get ready, John. Keep coming. Keep coming. Get ready, John. We want this fish, guys. It's a nice sword. John's ready on the harpoon. Out here on 1595. 1595 feet of water. The fish is diving deep, guys. It's heading back to the abyss. Did you see the fish? Yes. Pretty big, right? Yep. Is that the biggest swordfish you've ever seen? Yes. We're getting closer. The fish went down about 350 feet. It's coming back up now. See if it stays on there.
nice swordfish right there for Junior. Nice job, kid. Yeah, that was fun there. Nice Look at one. that. Look at that swordfish. Look at those blue colors Look in the back. Oh, that's pretty. Let's get him. Let's get him in the wallet. Be... Look at that. He's lasso, guys. So he's not even hooked, guys. The, the hook's just lassoed around his body right there. You can see it. It's just lassoed in there, foul, fouled up. Look at that. How about that, buddy? Joseph, you see he's not even hooked in the mouth? Joseph. <laughs> Good guys. job, buddy. Nice swordfish there. But check them out there. Nice fish. Real fat. You know, their tail is really thick like that. Look how wide his tail is. Some pretty blues in them still, too. Look at that blue up in there. Right there. All right, we're going to throw them in the cooler and eat them for dinner. In the box he goes. All right, we got a fish on. Not sure if it's a rosy or what. Double headed rosy. Two rosies. And we're back. All right, we're gonna weigh our swordfish today, see what he goes. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think it weighs. Shannon, what do you think? I don't know. 102. 102? Don't be short me. 147. I don't think it's that big. I'd say it's 125 to 130. All righty, I guessed 128. It weighs more than 100. Keep going. Keep on going. There you go, Alright, what do we got? I can't read it. What does it say? 128. Now we can cut them up. So we're gonna get a dolphin belly out of here too. This is really good swordfish bait. So that right there is a dolphin belly strip. I might get a swordfish on that next trip. We'll see. Mahi mahi. Peach, light orange, guys. Oh, look at that, that's pretty there. We got a pumpkin. Look at that. Chunk them up in pieces here, make it easier for ourselves. See that, you guys? Nice and orange. Light pumpkin. Halloween's coming here now. Ball ball. Look at that right there. It's prime. Doesn't get no better than that. Nice and fresh. Yeah, it's pretty, huh? Beautiful. Did you look a little more pink on the outside, on the skin just itself? They didn't do it? A little bit of rubbing, maybe. All right, guys, wow. all flayed up. We'll see nice you back one. at home in the kitchen. See the difference in me? So we got a nice piece of that swordfish, you guys, that we caught today. We're going to cut some steaks off, probably about an inch wide. Trim them up. And go throw them on the grill. 
So there's a local place in town. They have a bunch of different olive oil selections, vinegars, rubs. Right here from Olive Murata, we got some Persian lime olive oil, and just we're gonna mix some coconut that. with it. Some of that, some of that. A little bit of vinegar. Rub it in there real good. All around the fish, and we're gonna flip it over and do the other side too. And we're gonna try a little bit of this rub on it too. Key West Citrus Blend. This is the rose fish right here, you guys, we caught today. We caught two of them and putting some garlic olive oil on it as well as some truffle sea salt. Really good. Black truffle sea salt. Just Going a little on the bit. Rosie. Just a little bit because it's potent. Good. Let's roll. Sadie, what do you think? Yeah. Oh. Swordfish and Rosie coming up on the Traeger. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll check back in a few minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's check that swordfish. Ooh, look at it cooking. Look at the Rosie, too. Rosie and sword. Couple more minutes, we'll be done. Coming up the Traeger right now. Look at that. Ooh, look at that swordfish. That looks good there. Oh, look at that. Look at that there, guys. Ooh, that's gonna be good. The moment of truth. Fresh swordfish. Gets it's hot. Very hot. And? Very limey. I can't say you're like a movie star. Yeah. Rosie, try it out. That's good. It's got the truffle salt on it. Truffle salt? Mm hmm. And garlic olive oil? Yep. We need John's opinion, guys. Here's a fork for you. Give us a taste test on all of them. All of them. I'll try the Rosie. Rosie going down. Savor it in there. How is it? Good? Okay. It's pretty good. Not in your mouth? The swordfish looks really good. That's what we want to know how it tastes. Limey? Limey. So that's the citrus blend with already lime olive oil. It's very limey. It was good though. For fish, it's perfect. I like it. I'll yeah. have this piece. <laughs> I can't remember All right, I have to try it. Everyone said it's limey. No, but it's good for fish, I guess. Look at that. Olive oil and stuff. It's really good. It's limey, but it's good. Stop making noise. Let's try this other one over here, too. Fresh swordfish. I do too. Try that piece there, too. I can't remember what we did to that one. Oh, oh that one has the truffle salt Wait, on it. that one better? I think so. Really? This one was just lime and coconut with truffle. But just a tiny little bit of truffle. Sounds like the truffle salt wins tonight. Let me try the rosy. That truffle salt's good. The rosy just falls apart there. Super tender. That's really good too. All this fish is really fresh, you guys. It's all really good. Sadie's about to eat Rosie. Sadie, you ready for Rosie? I'm ready for Rosie. 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 Sadie's getting some Rosie. Swordfish turned out great, you guys. Both ways are really good. One's limey. I like lime. The other one's not. I think I need a plate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sadie? Is it good? <laughs> oh, Sadie's cheesing. See if she goes back for more. Arr. Fish. Fish. Oh. All right, there you have it. Sadie approved. She eats everything, though. She eats more than me. 
Thanks for watching that video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for being part of our channel. She got some vegetables too. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. And rice. And rice. We don't just eat fish, we eat other stuff too. <laughs>